16 years ago this week, I was elected to the Tennessee State Senate. And for 12 years, I sat at this very desk trying to decide what I thought was in the best interest of the people of Tennessee. And the other day, others were elected to serve in this chamber and in chambers like this all across the United States. It's tough sitting in a desk like this and making decisions that you know will affect thousands, if not millions, of people. And in fact, you really can't appreciate the difficulty of this job unless you've been here any more than children can really appreciate the love of a parent until they've had their own children. But now that the winners have been picked, what is it that our legislators need from us? They need two things. First, they need our prayers. They need our prayers for discernment. In the Federalist Papers, we are told to be wary of the artful misrepresentations of interested men. In other words, there will be people that will come to our legislators who will misrepresent the purpose of a bill to suit their own personal gain. I know it's hard to believe it happens, but it does. The second thing we need to pray for is wisdom. The decisions are often very complex. In fact, the bigger government gets, often it becomes harder and harder to know all the ramifications and all the consequences of the decision you make because one thing you do affects who knows how many other things. But because things can be complex, we need to pray for them for courage because it's very easy for legislators to go along with the majority opinion, no matter how uninformed it is, because that a majority opinion is what keeps them reelected. And that's where they need a second thing from us, and namely that's accountability. So that's why I want to encourage you today to join with us at the Family Action Council of Tennessee because it is our purpose, our goal, to provide you the information you need to know what's really going on, what the issues are, and what people are really doing here. So take a moment today and sign up for our Family Action News and our legislative alerts that we send through the internet, or follow us on Facebook or Twitter. Our legislators do need two things from us. One is our prayer, and the second is accountability. And together, if we provide those things, we can have good government in Tennessee.